What is up, everybody? I'm Josiah Leroy. We are at Buffalo Comic Con. I am here with uh, our good friend uh, Adam from Deftone Pictures. How are you, Adam? Doing really well. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Uh, so you're a co-founder of the company. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what your company does? Yeah, um, our company is a, a division out of uh, Buffalo, New York. And what we do is we support and uh, we work within the community for Buffalo Film, and we also work internationally for uh, for entertainment purposes. Our, our main goal is to showcase talent out of Buffalo, and one of our big things that we try to do is create films that showcase that amazing talent in Buffalo. That's pretty awesome. Uh, we need more of that. I think there's a lot of talent in our city, and it's starting to shine. Especially we saw at Nickel City Con earlier this year, Buffalo Comic Con. Uh, there's quite a, a community of geeks, if you will. Oh, yeah. So I think that's perfect to play on for you guys. Oh, yeah. I, w I would tell you, um, film is such an interesting art in itself. And then you bring us into these, uh, these cons and conventions and things, and it's like, wow, there's a huge market for this. It's awesome. People, you know, coming together to share that common goal, I guess. Uh, so company name, uh, we just had a conversation off air. Uh, it has nothing to do with the band. <laughs> No, uh, Deftone was, has nothing to do with the band. Uh, we were just joking about how uh, the company name was uh, made by a friend, and uh, later on in life I found out that there was actually a band named Deftone, or the Deftones, I should say. Uh, we like to thank them for cross-promoting, uh, but uh, that's, that's what it came from. That is pretty legit. It'll, soon you guys will be as big as the, the Deftones, and it'll all just be a distant memory, and they'll say, Deftones, what, they stole it from that Buffalo company. Yeah, ex exactly right, exactly right. There's never a band. What are you talking about? Yeah, that, that's garbage. Yeah, garbage. Uh, so you, you guys have a few projects in the, in the works currently. I know you spoke with Pete Offair about those. Why don't you tell uh, the viewers what we can expect from those and the titles of those? Yeah, we just finished a project called STAR, which, space, uh, which, which stands for Space Traveling Alien Reject, you know. We need an acronym, so we came up with STAR, but we're also trying to play off the pun of Star Wars because the film itself has a lot of Star Wars-based elements into it. So uh, I, a couple months ago, we got in, in touch with, uh, or actually a year ago now, I forgot how long it's been on this project, but about a year ago, we got in touch with a guy named Steve Extell who does puppetry, and he's an understudy for, um, or was an understudy, I should say, for Jim Henson. And if you look at the puppet's design and everything in the film, it's very Jim Henson-y. And um, I'll tell you what, he, uh, he's an amazing artist, too. Another person that should be at these conventions, but, you know, he's out of California and stuff. So we just say, thank you, Steve. But, um, you know, that's one of the films. It's, a, it's a kind of a comedy about uh, an alien coming into Earth and almost like a rendition of Elf meets Star Wars type of deal. Oh, my gosh. Let me stop you there. I'm a huge Star Wars fan, so you, you've immediately sold me. Um, I'm very interested in this project. When any ETA and when can we can expect a release for this? Well, you know what? Um, to kind of give you an idea, this is the first, uh, we're actually in the last week of editing. We are just fine-tuning some of the digital effects and audio, mainly the audio. The digital effects is basically done, the movie looks br like visually eye candy, you know what I'm saying? So I, I'm very excited to showcase it. It's probably Deftone's best film to date and with the right talent behind it. So it's it's very interesting. And plus it's a, it's a union project underneath SAG, so it's even that much more to the bar, you know? And we showcase Buffalo. We have a huge Avenger, Avengers uh, style shot in the film where um, on Franklin Street we blew up one of the, the buildings in the background and you see this epic landscape. Uh, I don't want to spoil too much with it, but that's one of the things we have in it. It's, it's, it's awesome, it's an awesome piece. That is incredible. I, I'm a huge Buffalo guy, obviously born and raised. I think that's another thing the Geekiverse prides itself on, uh, mixing in those Buffalo elements. So I, I love that we've got, you know, our media coverage, we've got artists such as yourself that are, are doing such a fine job. So that's a very exciting. Uh, what about some past projects? Uh, maybe just uh, tell the viewers a little bit about those and maybe where we can find those. All of our films, uh, some of our films are actually on video on demand. You can buy them in stores, Walmart, Best Buy. Uh, the one, the most notori uh, no, the most, uh, how do I say this, the most uh, recognized film for us or myself is uh, a film called Ambus Alien Invasion, which was retitled and re-released underneath Not Human. You can buy that now in stores or on video on demand. Um, otherwise, our other films are in the process of uh, being released actually as we speak. We're in the process of VOD deal and a DVD deal. So for a film called The Grim Becoming, which is a horror comedy about the Grim Reaper. So, I mean, it's like, uh, it's, it's, it's an interesting take on death. And, you know, it's, it's, I'm all about visuals. So I like, um, I like color, and I go over extreme in all our films with blood or slime or whatever have you. <laughs> and um, that's, what those films, that's what those films actually showcase, that art. You know, a human body in our films have over 35 gallons of blood. So um, that's the uniqueness that we like to bring. 
That's a lot of ketchup right there. That's pretty good. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. I wouldn't eat this though. No, I wouldn't <laughs> eat this. I, I would not either. Uh, that is super exciting. I, I am legitimately excited to hear about all this. I can't wait to find it. Uh, where can we find you guys? Where can we find yourself on social media so everyone can give you a follow? Oh, yeah. I'm a, I'm a media whore these days. Uh, uh, you can find me at uh, Adam R. Steigert uh, on Twitter, Facebook. Uh, I do have an IMDb if those that like stalking like to look at my resume. And... Um, Basically, you can find anything more about our company either online or even uh, by finding us on uh, our website, which is www.deftonepicturestudios.com. And uh, we're always looking for new talent. So if you're interested in being a filmmaker or being part of film in any fashion or just interested in getting into that art, we would love to have you. We're always doing casting calls every couple months. So. Well, Adam, that's, uh, that is awesome. I'm sure you guys will get some responses, and I hope you do. Uh, so for, uh, for Adam from, from Deftone Pictures, stay tuned for Star. I know us at the Geekiverse, we are definitely into that, so we'll have some coverage on that when that releases. Adam, thank you so much. Enjoy Buffalo Comic Con. I certainly will. Thank you very much for having me. We appreciate it. Stay tuned for more. Uh, so why don't you tell us a little bit what's going on? You're working on a game, right? Yeah. Yeah, Joe the Widget Wilson. Okay. I'm known for that all over the place. I've been a game designer my entire life. I worked on God of War, Killzone, Quake 3 Arena. Just some little titles like that. Little guys. Yeah. And some flops I will never name. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm working on, I'm the envi environmental lead designer for a game called Utheros. Okay. It's an open world MMO that is on a scale that is not seen in a game. You could take all of World of Warcraft and put it in one 